Nominees for the sixth annual Dumb Fuck of the Year Awards. And, well, these are my responses to it. Enjoy. Oh no, my brains. Done is done. Personally, I think five of those nominees shouldn't be on the list. I think we know what five. So, the most logical course of action I have to take is to create the first annual Dumps Fuck Dub of the Year. Yes. I have taken the rules on who gets nominated for Dump Fuck of the Year and applied them to here. And I came up with Five nominees of my own. So, without wasting any time, here they are. First, it's that guy. From his lack of understanding of magnets, compasses, uh, the atmospheric gradient, uh, the moon, uh, stars rotation in the sky, whatever. Uh, he just seems to don't understand all these things. And he thinks he's winning and he's clearly it's not. Uh he's a complete dumbass. Second is Daniel Pratt. Oh boy. He had a year. And it started right at the beginning. Where he made an illegal copyright strike on Team Skeptic. And boy, it flew up in his face. And it just got worse and worse as the year went on. Bitching and complaining Bitching and complaining, and all this kindergarten science crap. 
and his stupid inane experiments. Oh. And he's not going to stop. Even though he did it two or I think even three times. But he comes back. Uh, third. It's Gigantor himself. Book it word. Oh, jeez. I think this all began with Conspiracy's Cats calling him Gigantor because of that little scene who made him look like he was really big. Oh, it's classic. It's classic. <laughs> but it seems that he ran with it. I don't know. But, man, he's just being typical book at word, but oh, a lot more comedic and stupid. Oh. He definitely belonged in the in the nominees, but man, was he snubbed. Fourth, it's Karen B. Hmm. Yeah. Her, what gets with her, what gets some me from, from her is, um, she's trying to replace atmosphere, the word atmosphere, with atmos plane, and, oh my god. I think that really started it. And then her involvement in F.E. Core. Oh. She was being, she was being typical fluff, but when she used that term Atlas Lane, it just stuck with me that how can you be so stupid? If she believes that the world is under a dome, then why call it an Atlas plane? Atlas plane implies that it is the atmosphere is flat. But if it's under a dome, it's not flat. It's more hemispheric. Oh, what a dumb. Oh, I'm not going to use that word. That's... No. And lastly, it's Kit Hovind. Man, he just came on within the last month. Simon Dan did a couple videos on him. Yeah, after his first video... Kent did not approve of Simon Dan. Oh, man. And that's where the, it all started. When Simon Dan came up with his second video, oh, the challenge was on. And even Conspiracy Cats was on, the, on it, too. With a debate. I don't know if it happened yet. I think it did. I have to check. Yeah. This guy is a 
evolution denier and completely thinks that Genesis was absolutely right. Me? Yes, I am a Christian. No, I do not believe that Genesis was right here. Oh, what an idiot. Well, now it's time for you to vote. So, with the rules, simply just like uh, what, what Red's doing. But this time, instead of um, putting little 10 second videos, I'm going to create a minute video. Just telling you, uh, like or dislike, if you think that this person should be the dumb fuck snub of the year. And at the end of the video, I will post a link to either one of my videos or one of other creators' videos about this person. The winner will be announced on the second annual International Ballers Day on December 31st. Yep, it's coming soon. So don't forget to wear your NASA gear for that one. And check out who won the first annual Dumb Fuck Snub of the Year. But that's not going to be the only award that's coming out. No. I got a special reward. The turd. Yep. The turd. I am going to give out a special bag filled with turds to a person that really deserved it. Antonio Subarat. Uh I will be making a video about this real soon. So, don't get an eye out on that. And, I'll catch y'all guys later. Thank <laughs> you.